क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी एट वी आर गिवन अ मैट्रिक्स ए वन टू 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 वन माइनस टू ए टू एंड बी एंड देन वी आर बीन गिवन द इक्वेशन ए इन टू ए ट्रांसपोज बराबर नाइन आए what we can do here is we can write this equation as a by 3 into a by 3 transpose equal to i and from that we can conclude that a by 3 is an orthogonal matrix because the matrix multiplied by its transpose is going getting to be identity so a by 3 is equal to 1 by 3 2 by 3 2 by 3 2 by 3, 1 by 3, minus 2 by 3, a by 3, 2 by 3, b by 3 is orthogonal. Now we know that in case of orthogonal matrix, each row represents a unit vector, and the three vectors represent the triad of orthogonal vectors, which are unit vectors. so we can generate the relations for a and b if we take the dot product for this we will have 2a minus 2b plus 2 equal to 0 we are taking the dot product of these two vectors so 2a minus 2b plus 2 equal to 0 so that makes it a minus b equal to minus 1 similarly we can take the dot product of this vector and this vector and for that we get A plus two b plus four equal to zero, so that makes it a plus b equal to minus four. So now we have to just simplify this, and by simplifying this, we get a equal to minus two and b equal to minus one. And we also see that for these two values, this vector also becomes a unit vector. therefore a equal to 2 minus b equal to minus 1 is the correct ordered pair and according to option option number 2 is going to be the correct answer now in question number 9 we are being given with two numbers l and n which are greater than 1 and m is the arithmetic mean so obviously 2m is equal to l plus n is what we are being provided with after that we are also provided that there are three geometric means in that order g1 g2 and g3 so l g1 g2 and g3 and n they are in gp if we want to find the common ratio of this gp we can say that n is equal to l into r power 4 so we have got the value of r power 4 and finally what they are asking us is the value of the expression g1 power 4 plus 2 times g2 power 4 plus g3 power 4 and this value we have to report purely in terms of l m and n so how we can start the problem is we we see that g1 g2 and g3 are also in gp so we can also write that g2 square is equal to g1 g3 as g2 is going to be the geometric mean of g1 and g3 so g2 power 4 will be g1 square g3 square We'll put it over here, so we get g1 power 4 plus 2 times g1 square g3 square plus g3 power 4, and that is nothing but g1 square plus g3 square whole square. Now to get rid of g1 and g3, what we can say is g1 is equal to l into r, where r is the common ratio of gp. So this is l square r square plus For G3, we can say this is n upon r, so that is n square upon r square whole square. If we simplify this, then this is one upon r power four into l square r power four plus n square whole square. And now we have to just put the value of r k power four over here. So this will be l upon n here into We'll put n upon l here, so we will be left with n l plus n square whole square. We'll pull out n, so n square, and in the denominator we have n. So the expression will be equal to n l 
and in the bracket we will be left with L plus N whole square, but we know that L plus N is nothing but 2M, so we will put 2M over here, so we will be getting 4 times N L M square. So we have to now just check the option, so if we check the option, option number 4 is correct because that is 4 L M square N which is the same, so correct answer is option number 4. In question number 50, <coughs> there is a statement given negation S or negation R and S and we are being asked the negation of this entire statement. So, we put the sign of negation in front of the statement. Now, if we distribute this negation over this bracket, we have negation S or negation R and negation S or S, but negation S or S is a tautology. So, we have negation of negation S or negation R and tautology. So, and operator along with tautology will give us this only. So, we will be left with negation of negation S or negation R. Now, by De Morgan law we can say that this is nothing but S and R. According to that if we see the option, option number 2 is correct. So, the answer to this question is option 2. The historical result ever produced by any coaching institute of India. The moment where emotions speaks louder than words. Landmark achievements of our students in 2014. Yet another proof of leadership. Allen Career Institute, Bath.